CBS News has obtained a letter from House Republicans demanding, yes, demanding that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen share information about Hunter Biden's alleged suspicious foreign business dealings. The letter also accuses the Biden administration of stonewalling this Republican-led inquiry. CBS News senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge is here now. Catherine, break down this letter for us. What's in it? What's about? Well, Major, this letter at its core is about more than 150 suspicious activity reports that were first reported by CBS News involving the global affairs for Hunter Biden, James Biden, the president's brother, as well as their business associates. Suspicious activity reports, they're also known as SARS, are flagged by banks when a number of factors are met. One is the amount of money involved. Second is the speed of the transaction. So, for example, how quickly the money enters an account and then is transferred out or cashed out of the account. And then finally, something called layering. How many accounts does the money pass through before it reaches its final destination? Um, that can be an indicator of possible money laundering. We don't know what the finding was of the U.S. banks with these 150 plus transactions involving the Biden family finances, but they certainly were flagged for further review. And these are the records that House Republicans would like to obtain. And Catherine, as I understand it, there was some change during the Biden administration as to what Congress could or couldn't access where these kinds of suspicious activity reports are concerned. Do I have that right? Well, that's right. The, the Republican who's really at the heart of this effort is Republican Congressman James Comer. He has now written to the Treasury Department saying that there was a phone call in June of this year where Treasury officials told Republican staff members that they would not provide the suspicious activity reports unless there was a request or the backing of Democrats as well. You're right. What Comer is saying, and the Treasury Department has not disputed, is that access to these suspicious activity reports are not happening with sort of paperwork being handed over to Congress. They do what's called an in-camera review, which means that you go to a reading room and you can look at the records. And there may even be additional restrictions there as to whether you can take in, you know, computers, papers, notepads in order to take down information. So at the heart of this is the allegation that access to these financial records is being blocked. And the allegation is the Treasury Department is running some kind of political interference in this case. So what is Treasury's response to that pretty freighted accusation from House Republicans? Well, the Treasury Department did not respond directly to CBS News' questions, but they did provide us with a lengthy response that reads in part, Treasury provides SARS to Congress in a manner that enables robust oversight and that is consistent with how other sensitive law enforcement information is often produced. It is not a political process. It continues, since the beginning of this administration, Treasury has made SARS available in response to authorized committee requests and continues to engage on the process with any individual members sinking information. And you've been in Washington a long time, Major. You know, the key word there is authorized, because the House Oversight Committee is controlled by Democrats, and they're the ones, really, with all the power to request the records. Understood. The White House found itself responding to new reporting about alleged evidence recovered on Hunter Biden's laptop. Let's take a listen. From this podium, I am not going to talk about alleged materials from the laptop. So I will. Are you disputing the I'm not. Voice on the voicemail? I am not going to talk about alleged materials on the laptop. Are it's you not happening. Then that it is not. Peter, I refer you to uh, to his son's representative. So, Catherine, what is the status of that part of the Hunter Biden story and investigation? Well, Major, based on our reporting here at CBS News, this is a very serious criminal probe that's been unfolding by the U.S. attorney in Delaware. We understand that they've been looking at tax fraud, tax evasion, money laundering, and possible violations of foreign lobbying laws. What I can tell you from our reporting in the last few weeks is that there's been what I would describe as a lot of static or noise in the system. Based on my experience, that can be an indicator that the two sides are talking about things like what ultimately charge may, charges may or may not look like or whether some kind of plea agreement is possible. I also want to emphasize that they're looking at records that go back to 2014. We've reviewed subpoenas that show they've requested banking records back to that period. And the reason all of that matters is because at that point, Joe Biden was then the vice president major. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge, as always, we thank you. You're welcome.